Jesus addresses the issues of worry and devotion, emphasizing that one cannot serve two masters. He begins by stating that a person cannot serve both God and money, underscoring the impossibility of divided loyalties. Jesus then moves on to reassure his listeners about God's provision, urging them not to worry about their lives, what they will eat, drink, or wear. He points out that life is more than food and the body more than clothes. Using the examples of birds and lilies, Jesus illustrates how God provides for all his creation, emphasizing that humans, being more valuable, will certainly be taken care of by God. Jesus invites his followers to observe how the birds do not sow or reap, yet God feeds them, and how the lilies grow without labor, yet are dressed more beautifully than King Solomon. He concludes by urging his followers to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, promising that all these things will be added to them. Jesus ends the passage by advising against worrying about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of its own. This passage calls us to trust in God's provision and prioritize our spiritual lives over material concerns. In today's fast-paced and materialistic society, it's easy to become preoccupied with financial stability, career success, and other worldly worries. Jesus' words remind us to focus on our relationship with God and trust that He will provide for our needs. This does not mean neglecting our responsibilities, but rather reorienting our hearts to seek God's kingdom first. By focusing on God's faithfulness and provision, we can alleviate the anxiety that comes from worrying about the future. This trust is built through prayer, meditation on God's word, and actively seeking ways to live out his teachings. In what areas of your life are you struggling to trust God's provision? And how can you shift your focus to seek his kingdom first? Dear Heavenly Father, In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, we often find ourselves overwhelmed by worries and anxieties about our needs and future. Today, we are reminded of your son's teachings, calling us to trust in your perfect provision. Lord, help us to release our grip on material concerns and to place our trust fully in you. We confess that we often let worries about food, clothing, and security dominate our thoughts, overshadowing our faith in your care. Teach us to see the world through the eyes of faith, knowing that you care for us more than the birds of the air and the lilies of the field. Grant us the grace to seek your kingdom first, prioritizing your righteousness in all we do. May we find peace in the assurance that as we focus on your will, you will provide for our every need. Help us to live each day with a heart full of trust, free from the burden of worry about tomorrow. Father, strengthen our faith so that we may rest in your promises. Remind us daily of your love and care, and fill our hearts with gratitude for your abundant blessings. As we navigate the challenges of life, may we always turn to you for guidance and provision, trusting that you know our needs before we even ask. We ask for the courage to let go of our anxieties and to embrace a life of trust and faith. May our lives be a testament to your provision and peace, drawing others to the hope we have in you. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.